Hi everyone! So today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my beauty secrets, some hacks that I've done to glow up this far. I feel like I've gone through like a second puberty and I think the way that I take care of myself now and my body is a little bit different from how it used to be. So I'm spilling the tea, I'm going to tell you all of my beauty secrets, what I do, let's get started. Okay, first thing I want to talk about is hair removal. Of course, this is personal preference. For me, I just like my legs looking shinier and smooth and that just comes with the territory of having like hairless legs. And that does kind of translate into my level of confidence, especially when I'm dancing. So some of you know that I'm also a pole dancer. So I don't like my underarm hairs showing when I'm like lifting my arms just because you kind of get distracted. I've had shaver burns, ingrown hairs from shaving and I just don't want to shave every day. Like that's too high maintenance for me. Not to mention it immense pain from epilating, waxing, I've tried sugaring also. I feel like all of these methods, they're either expensive or they're very very painful. So for me, I don't find that I've kept to anything very regularly. I've always switched up my hair removal methods throughout the years because I want something that's effective, that's not so painful, and of course affordable. And that's actually why I never really looked at IPL, never been to an IPL salon because I just always feel like it's a little bit expensive and it's a hassle having to go somewhere and it's only till now that I've tried IPL. So in case you've never heard of IPL before, it stands for Intense Pulse Light Technology and at-home IPL devices have only recently come onto the market for like a couple of years. So obviously your home IPL hair removal devices aren't quite as strong as the ones that you'll see in the salon. They're completely safe to be used at home. It sends these gentle pulses of light directly to your hair root. It also makes the hair go into like a resting phase and then less hair will just grow out. So that kind of intrigued me because that means that it's semi-permanent, fuss-free and painless if you have a good device and it also permanently prevents ingrown hairs. Okay, so let me show you what I've been using. This is the You Like IPL hair removal device. I'm sure some of you guys have heard of You Like before. I was a little bit late to the game. Uh, apparently it's super popular already on Shopee so that's where I got mine from and it is this very unique IPL technology. So this sapphire material in the lamp export is actually what makes You Like different as a device and I feel like, like superior to other IPL devices because this sapphire is cool to the touch like even before I plug it in it's already very very cold and it gets even more cold and therefore you never burn yourself and it's also suitable for sensitive parts of your skin. This device is also super easy to use so the first thing you want to do is make sure you shave off all of your hairs. It actually comes with a razor as well. By the way, the entire set is beautiful. It comes in this very luxurious grey box and inside you have your device, you have the charger, it also has a foldable little razor and foldable sunglasses so they literally think of everything. Also, by the way, when you order it on Shopee, um, it also comes with a free water picker and an electronic toothbrush that I'm also using and really enjoying and they're worth around like $99 so it's a super good deal. In order for the device to work the best, it has to be directly exposed and focused on the hair follicle because the pigment from the hair follicles will absorb the light energy and convert it into heat energy and gradually the root will just kind of fall off. Like your hair will just fall off. And that is what's gonna reduce the hair growth. So make sure you shave down, don't be lazy. Also make sure that your skin is wet if you don't have like a nice smooth shaving kit. So once you're all prepped, you're shaved, you're ready to go, just turn on the device. There are only two buttons. It's really easy to navigate. So you have a power button on the side right here and then you have this big button. Just press once to turn it on. Once you have it on, you can do a couple of quick press and this will allow you to adjust the level and the intensity of the IPL device. I personally will always recommend that you start from the lowest setting and if you feel like your skin can take more then you amp it up but it's always better to be safe. And then once you have your settings ready, you gotta bust out these foldable glasses. Then I would say go with an inconspicuous spot to just test it first. Because my legs are less sensitive than my underarms, I always feel more comfortable 
before doing a patch test like on my legs. And once this entire rectangular area is flush against your skin, this light will go up, it's like it's ready, and then this is the launch button, so then you just zap away. So like I said, the IPL hair removal device will apply very gentle pulses of light directly onto your hair follicle, and this will make it shrink and eventually fall out. And like I said, the Ulite is super user-friendly. It was really comfortable to use, it was not painful, and in general, I think like after having used this, I don't think I will be looking for anything new because this checks all of my boxes. I don't have to travel to a salon to go and get hair removal. Um, I can do it anytime I want, usually like right before bed after I do my night shower and in the long run I save money and I also save time because eventually my hair is just gonna stop growing and in the meantime there's no recurring costs and it's painless and it's so quick like it's genuinely like so fun and so easy to just zap 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 and then you're done so if you also want to check out you like I will leave links down below I think it's available on Shopee and Lazada don't forget to also use my promo code here for $10 off and if you quote my name Brenda in the comments when you make an order you'll also get the free dental irrigator that I was talking about that is very useful so just get it okay write my name all right the next beauty hack that I have to share with you guys that really aided in my glow up is quite obviously my hair I felt like I had found my signature hairstyle which was just like long black hair because all the other hairstyles I've kind of tried in the past few years weren't really serving me but I think that everyone deserves a little update to their hair and um, ever since I got the money piece I just feel a lot more chic I feel like my hair looks done even when it's not like genuinely today I did not do anything to it so I get my hair done at 7am salon they are located along the Duxton area I will leave their links and their Instagram down below um, my hair is done by Zen they also pretty frequently have like a colour a treatment or a promo so go and check them out I also did like more layers this time round. It just gives my hair a lot more shape now and um, I also did have like a little bit of a perm. So I'd say one of my biggest like hacks to always looking ready and always looking good is just to make sure that you're already set up for success. So whatever it takes to get your hair looking like how you always want it to look, like with minimal effort, that's the key. I also want to just point out very quickly my eyelashes. Um, sometimes I go through phases where I don't like having extensions and I just want to look a little bit more fresh-faced and um, less hairy on my eyeballs. But I also find that I'm way more confident and I do look better objectively with eyelashes on. So I always make sure that I have like a nice pair of extensions. And I've been getting my extensions done by the same lady for like five, six years now. Her name is Tina. She's based in a home salon in Pasiris. Again, we'll list everything down below. These are the two things that I kind of always do to make sure that um, even if I'm not dressed properly, like I, just, I still feel put together and I still feel cute. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is skin treatments. I've always had a rough time with my skin, particularly my like lower chin and mouth like acne. This area is usually very much hormonal. As I'm older now, I've come to realize that I break out when I eat sugar and when I eat dairy. One or two months back, it was the worst it had ever been and um, I went to Radium. So I've also been going to Radium for maybe like two years now and they are an aesthetic clinic in Suntec City. I just wanted to include this in case you guys are curious to see like what kind of treatments I've been doing. So I will leave links below for the three treatments that I've been doing. The Tixel, the Photona and something called Pico. And also like I said, like a month or two months ago, I came in with really, really deep seated, really bad acne. It was so bad like I didn't even want to film and like I was just really stressed out. So I basically had like cortisone injections on some of these pimples and they extracted them and got them out and it's been much better ever since. So if that's something that bothers you, if your skin is something that bothers you, go to an aesthetic clinic and get it like medically sorted. Go see a dermatologist. This money spent on treatments like for your skin, for your face, is something that I would deem as worth it lah. Alright, next beauty hack kind of ties in with the skin, which is like working out and your general health. I know no one is surprised, but this is such a big deal. 
like your skin and your body definitely reflects how you feel about yourself. I get my heart racing, I get my blood pumping, and I just look and feel a bit more fit. Some of the things I do, like I said, are pole dance. I also go for certain gym classes sometimes. I've tried out spin, bouldering, climbing. You can use the time working out to spend time with friends also. And it also keeps my body looking more snatched. So yeah, you can definitely like just find something active and fun to do to kind of keep your body moving. And for me, it's not so much losing weight as it is like muscle definition and the toning of your body. So I feel like when I work out and when I hit the gym, when I do pull more, my body, even though it's the same size, I'm just shaped a little bit better. And you also have a solid reason to be proud of yourself and proud of how you look because you've worked your way here. Last but not least, the final beauty secret I want to share with you is perfume. So I'm a very sensory person, like I like touching things, I like smelling things. Um, I'm also quite sensitive, meaning that I like to associate like scents with memories and I have been gravitating towards um, certain perfumes for certain moods. So I know some people have like a signature scent that they stick to. That's the scent that will make them feel super powerful and super beautiful and super sexy and all of that. Um, but for me, I have mood scents. So um, when I want to feel a certain way, I will smell like it. So I have two examples to show you guys. This is from Jo Malone. This is the English Pear and Freesia. I know everyone and their mother knows about this perfume and they're obsessed with it. And for very good reason, because it's very light. So it's the perfect daytime scent. And for me, I was introduced to this scent uh, years and years ago by my best friend Anita who was wearing it and when I was hugging her I was just like oh my god like what is that smell and uh, she told me what it is and she also actually I think she got me this on one of our trips I think which is really really sweet of her because she knows how much I love this scent so whenever I wear this I always think of her and I'm always in a very light and floral and very graceful mood which I'm not all the time lah. When I want to feel sexy, when I want to feel really, really hot, um, I go for Byredo's Mixed Emotions. This, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before, but this is something that I would wear if I'm going on a night out, if I want to seem like an expensive, like mysterious stranger, or if now like I'm going out on date nights and like, you know, cabaret nights, club nights, I would choose to go with mixed emotions because it's a lot more musky and dark, but it's not overwhelming. The process of like doing your makeup, doing your hair, doing your outfit, and then that final like spritz, it's like making your aura smell nice, I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, I have a very extensive collection now of perfumes that I really really like. I always find myself feeling extra beautiful, extra cute, extra sexy, depending on what I want to feel that day because of the perfume. So. Those are the things that I've been doing for my glow up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel down below. If you want to see me elaborate on any of these points that I've talked about, let me know also. Perfume collection, ah, who knows? And also click the bell next to the subscribe button to turn on your notifications and I'll see you guys really soon. Bye!